Have you ever felt that something's missing in your life? Or are you someone who looks for purpose in life? Someone who looks for meaning in everything that he does? If you ever look up to someone, hope that you have done what he has done, what he has accomplished. If your answer is yes, cheers. I also have. In this video, I'm going to be sharing what made me do what I do. And hopefully, it will help you as well in realizing that knowing yourself better can really have a big impact in your life. It can really have a big difference. Shall we start? This is a story time. Oh, no. Don't get bored, things. Well, if you watched my previous video, I have mentioned there that I always look for something that fills my heart. Something that some, something that I can be proud of. It was really a very long battle, but now I'm going the right path, I believe. I mentioned that I did not pursue the degree I earned from college, but that's just above the surface. You know what, simula ka nung bata ako. I do things based on what other people say what movie to watch, what clothes to wear, what course to take, what food to eat, and so on and so forth. As I grew up, what people say really has a big impact on how I live my life. I don't mind I mean it, but my family and friends has a big say on how I live my life how I made my decisions. Yeah. Have you experienced the same? Let me ask. Two years ago when I was browsing my Facebook, I saw this one post regarding personality type test. That time, I guess I was just bored and just sick and tired of my life's decisions. I read comments about them and got really intrigued. Um, but to make the story short, I took the test, and the result shook me. Ano yung nalaman yung naiisip ko? How it even almost described me perfectly. Not that time, yung doon ko lang na-realize na, oh nga, no? That's what I mean. Ah, I got goosebumps, seriously. I read further, and I realized that I'm getting to know myself better. Yeah, I was knowing the real me. And I was really happy. I felt that real joy from my heart. And I guess that's what I was looking for ever since that I could remember. And you know what, guys? What's the result? I am an INFP. T. Yeah, with a T. That means that I have an introverted, intuitive feeling prospecting and turbulent personality. I am a mediator. That means that I tend to be quiet, shy, open-minded, imaginative, uh, and apply a caring and creative approach to everything that I do, but a self-conscious worry word. <laughs> That's harsh. Yeah, but yeah, I'm really a worry word. I worry a lot. Before any combat, I tend to worry all the time. Kahit na hindi pa nangyayari. Ganun din ba kayo? Nung kinakabahan ka na dapat na malindi. Then the nervous ka. Kahit na maganda na mga naging result ng ginawa mo. It's all in the mind but you really felt it and you can't fight it. <laughs> and yeah, that's me. It's so me. But I, when I said apply what I learned from that, what I got to know about myself, everything that I've done made sense. And everything that what I continue doing, I understand why I came up with that. Better. And this started to open up my mind to understand myself better. I know now why I always try to see good things. Every time, even in the worst of people in events. Oh, the <laughs> Minsan kahit na ang sama-sama na tao, ang sama-sama na nangyayari, I, I don't want to question it. I always think na ba, baka may daylan, baka may rason kung bakit ganon. 
and uh, yeah, and it will be all better in time. And why? And this one also why people always misunderstood me just because of being self-conscious about what pe- about what other people might say. That was a burden. Yeah, that really was. That really was. But now it's not. I accept it. Now I am. So, can really know your personality type helps my answer, and I guess majority of those. So, the test, the answer is a big yes. Just to share with you guys, when I share that to my team and counselors, and they also took that, I get to understand them better and why they are reacting in such a certain way, and uh, I think I was able to advise accordingly. Hindi siya nagmamaya pa, pero I was the number one career counselor in my project when we did a survey, knowing that I was only a few months to almost a year in the project. <laughs> that was a feat, isn't it? I was able to identify my likes and dislikes, and I understand why I prefer certain things over the other. It also helped me know if a certain situation would allow me to perform better and most importantly I guess to help me understand my strengths and weaknesses and by that by that I can take advantage of my strength while working out on my weaknesses. Definitely it will help you in making decision which is helpful in your career, daily life and life in general. And that's the reason why I am here in front of you guys talking to my camera. <laughs> By knowing yourself better and knowing the personality of other people would help you uh, respond to every situation accordingly. Yeah, but I won't dig deeper. See, it's a broad, it's a broad topic. Uh, I think we'll need a separate uh, video for this if you want to know more about that. But if you really want to know your personality type, want to get to know you better, yes. just go in the site. But if you already have done that, congratulations. You're one step ahead of being successful. You know what? Being a mediator myself, being an idealist. Like I mentioned, I look for any hint of goodness in people or event. Searching for ways to make things better. And whenever I watch YouTube videos, but stay good vibes and full of positivity, I surely watch that. Aside from watching uh, animal videos, which is my, you know, pampalipas oras. <laughs> Especially now that we really need as much as positivity that we can get. You know Kyle Jetterman? I think mas kilala mo siya as becoming Filipino. He seems so nice and full of positivity and that's what I really like about him. He is a Canadian blacker who is also known as Colas. He fell in love with Filipino people and yeah, he started a Becoming Filipino channel. And actually, I didn't know him until I got bored and watched YouTube videos. and. When I watched one of his videos, yeah, I was work. I was really fascinated by how he wants to become a Filipino by doing things Filipino-like. Well, you really get to see this guy. Yeah. I have been to a lot of, the, I, I have been to a lot of places here in the Philippines, but I have not done what he has done. Yeah, and hoping na magawa ko rin nagawa niya. Well, he seems to be a people person, and that's really a challenge for me since I'm not. But whether it happened or not, one day. I'll make a mark as well in this kind of platform. I know it's kind of saturated now you travel blog, but I want to do it my own way. Well, not today, but soon. And I hope you'll be there in my journey. He really inspires me, seriously. And I really hope that someday, somewhere, we'll have a collaboration. I know it's next to impossible, but wala namang masama na mahanap, right? And he's just here in the Philippines. And I don't think that it's going back to Canada anytime soon. How about you guys? What is your personality type? Are you also an INFP with a T? Are you also inspired by someone because of what they've done? I'll be glad to know. Please comment below and share your thoughts. Before I end this video, let me share this to you.
If you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button and smash that notification bell to get notified of my new videos. Thank you guys again for watching this and hope to see you in my next video. Please, please do take care. Bye-bye.